Six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I kind of lost track myself. But being that this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Hey guys, welcome everybody. Dan the Wolfman here. I got a new holster for you. Something very nostalgic, kind of old school like me. Well, punk, I got Dirty Harry's original Bianchi X15 shoulder holster. And you know, about the first 15 minutes, it was a little uncomfortable to get used to, but then it disappeared after that, as I just wore it out to like a two hour lunch, hour and a half lunch uh, that I had. And, and been wearing it a bit and now it broke down so this is something that you know could be used for a driver security because you could get to it from both sides and that's always something uh, that is nice it's clamshell design as you see there so it can actually fit it looks like this is going to fit a lot of different stuff I originally got it for the GP100 that's on my side in the review I just did of the Cyclone 111 holster which is straight basically hip carry or for cross draw this is working out really well for this and since I'm just reviewing I just did a very in-depth review of the new Rock Island Alpha Proj 3. Point, this is not 3.1 9.0 the 3 inch 9 millimeter revolver I also did a review on the 3.1 Snubby 357 stainless check out those reviews uh, but I'm glad that I got this very nostalgic shoulder holster. You can see it here, excuse the blue underneath, I'm not a fashionista, I should have put on a black shirt today. <laughs> but that's okay guys, because I'm just bringing you a little product review. So, you might see my friend Harry Callahan in the background here, down here, I don't know if you can see that. We're in basically it, uh, in the first couple movies, and then you really saw a good look here in Sudden Impact when he was training with his 44 auto mag. Of course, he had the Smith & Wesson 29 44 Magnum in the uh, first movies. But it's a classic. It is a classic. So you can have it. The snaps here is adjustable. There's two other snaps. You can pull it tighter. I can also put this down to give trigger guard coverage a bit. That way, that isn't going to happen. Something to be aware of. Um, so you just come across, pull the snap, and then it pulls out of the clamshell. So you're not having to reach and pull up like a straight vertical shoulder holster, uh, which is, you know, honestly very difficult, especially if you're a bigger guy like me. So the clamshell opens up, it's spring. So it takes a little getting used to. It's kind of different than everything else. But... What this allows you to do is carry larger, heavier firearms. So, I don't know if you're a San Francisco detective like my friend Harry Callahan, who also reviewed my Taylor Ruger GP100. You might want to look at that video. A Harry Callahan reviewing, getting a new pistol, the Ruger GP100. But, um, if you're a hunter, if you're an outdoorsman, if you need bear defense, so... What I found is this is fitting my GP100, it's fitting this. It looks like this size is also going to fit some 1911s, Breda 92. So in my future reviews coming up with Breda 92, a Taurus 92, um, some future reviews I have planned, I think this is going to be a very good way of carrying those fairly heavy pistols, 33 ounces unloaded. Once you load it up with 18 plus one like I plan to, maybe 20 plus one, it gets a little heavy. Um... Might get a Rock Island 10 millimeter high capacity to check out in the near future. That's a 40 to 47 ounce beast, depending on the barrel length. Unloaded, throwing 17 rounds of 10 millimeter on top of that for bear defense. And this would be really the only realistic way of carrying it. 
So this old school shoulder holster is a classic and it just pulls right out of that clamshell. If you needed to access for driving, that's good. If you needed to, you got shot in your primary arm and this was a backup, you could always draw with your offside hand. So let me show you that there. See how it opens up? That's why I call it a clamshell design. It's a very tight spring. In fact, even without the snap, uh, unless you're jumping fences and chasing a perp two miles, I'm sure it would stay in there just good. If you knew there was trouble expected, you might wanna, you know, you might wanna undo the snap and then you just got it right there. So anyway, guys, it's cool to own a piece of history. This is the X15 shoulder holster. This size happens to be the medium. Brought a 92 series, Colt Government, Government Python, some Ruger, old auto pistol SIGs, GP100, KL frames, old Smiths, parrot ordnance, IE 1911s. Brought a 92, Taurus 92. I think it would be a great option. So these are the new Bianchi holsters. Look at my review of the Cyclone 111. This one's very fast and it um, can also be cross draw. So guys, I liked them very much. These were sent to me by Safari Land to test and evaluate. So go to Safari Land, uh, this website, Bianchi. You can find a lot of places. And anyway, I'm giving them a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe. Always makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Sorry about my poor fashion sense today, but there's other things that are more important in life, like having a classic shoulder holster. Thank you very much, guys. And thanks, Harry Callahan, for pointing me in the right direction in life.